Yes. It pays to have good credit. You would always want to be on the side of having good credit. Do you think it pays to have good credit? Welcome to the It Pays to Have Good Credit podcast, where we talk about credit scores, business, finances, and take calls to answer all questions related to those topics. To call in, call 225-243-9700 and press option one to join in. All right, so you ruined your credit, your credit scores are bad, you got bad credit, how fast can you get to good credit or how fast can you fix your bad credit step number one stop take a break breathe none of that is possible okay there's no such thing as bad credit and getting it fixed fast if that was the case no one in america would have bad credit it just wouldn't exist okay now with that being said it's not the end of the world there's so many things you can do to improve your credit scores over time uh, to get out of the bad credit situation, okay? Step number one, if you ruin your credit, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you're outside of the window where you can legally be sued for debt, okay, or unpaid debt. So if you have bad credit, nine times out of 10, you have collection accounts on there, charge off accounts that you never pay back, you know, you have any of those, if you're inside of your state's law time frame of how long a bank has to legally sue you for a debt and put a judgment against you you need to definitely pay those accounts first before you even worry about fixing your credit because now that you got bad credit you definitely don't need a judgment against you you know for 10 years so uh make sure you're not being sued for any unpaid accounts okay now for those who are outside of that window where they can legally be sued for debt, it's been three years or five years, whatever it is in your state, uh, most of the time it's usually three years. If you're outside of that window, okay, and you have things like charge-offs or collection accounts or late payments, this is your next step, okay? Number one, if you have late payments, you can contact the creditor and see if they will work with you to remove those late payments. Here's the thing. If you ruin your credit, your credit is ruined for seven years. So just because some of these attempts do not work, do not get mad and give up. I mean, first of all, look at it. You ruin your credit. You should wait seven years. So, I mean, you're just supposed to. It, there's really not supposed to be a shortcut to improve your credit. However, there are things that you can do legally to make that seven years turn into maybe six months or turn into eight months so here's the thing the first thing you need to do is take accountability and realize you have seven years to try and speed this up okay you got seven years relax sit back down if you have bad credit if you try to find out a way or find someone to try and fix it fast you're going to stress yourself out because it's just not going to work it does not work like that okay so Again, if you have late payments, see if you can do a goodwill request with the creditor. This is maybe a 5% chance that a creditor may say, okay, well, look, you were only late once, so you were only late twice. We will agree to stop reporting this late payment, and update your account to 100% paid on time. Don't let it happen again, Mr. or Mrs. You know, so that's how that goes, okay? Um, also with late payments, if the account is closed, you can also go through the credit repair process and find out ways to dispute that information if it is inaccurate, uh, incomplete, unverified, and things like that, okay? Um, so that's late payments. Collection accounts, things that has been charged off and sent to a debt collector. The very first thing you should do is contact that debt collector and see if they're willing to do a pay for delete, which means you just pay it and they promise to delete it from your credit report if they do please get that in writing so you can have that at, in, as backup a lot of times they will say they're going to delete something and they don't i see it every day in the credit repair industry It's completely normal so make sure you get something in writing if they do promise to delete it but here we go again if it was that easy no one would have bad credit so again there's a 10 percent chance 
that a debt collector will agree to delete something if you pay because they technically have to send a request to the credit bureaus and say they got the wrong person or this was a mistake or make up something to where the credit bureaus remove the information because it's supposed to be inaccurate because you agreed to pay so uh again there's a 10 percent chance that can happen if it doesn't go through the credit repair process you're going to have a much higher success with that uh disputing some of this information and finding ways to remove it than going through you know the asking part there okay um let's say if you have i don't know uh repossessions okay usually it's nothing you can work on with the creditor with that because that's more of a credit repair situation more than a you know goodwill request or asking a debt collector to remove it if you pay and things like that with a repossession the original creditor actually still reports it and there's no such thing as a pay for deletion with that because they're not a debt collector uh but let's look at if you have too many hard inquiries on your credit uh you can usually if you dispute those yourself with the credit bureaus uh, a lot of times they will tell you to contact each and every creditor that's pretty much have a hard inquiry listed on your credit report and that can take just hours and hours and hours finding all these phone numbers and if you have 30 plus inquiries on your credit report it literally can just probably take you a, a week to call all of those different companies and ask them if they're going to be willing to remove their hard inquiry reporting or hard inquiry filing from your credit report and like i said there's a 10 percent chance that will happen so uh, if, if you're watching or listening to this episode and you're one of those people who recently just ruined your credit and you're trying to fix it fast, please realize none of this stuff is guaranteed. They're only attempts to get the items removed from your credit report just by asking them. And it's up to the bank or the lenders or the companies to say yes or no. And if they say yes things can be be fixed in your credit much sooner because they will just remove it but if they say no then you need to go through the credit repair process yourself or hire someone or a company that knows what they're doing and your luck may be much better and here's the thing even with credit repair at least your chances of getting the stuff removed goes from 10 percent to probably 50 or 60 percent because items are always unverified a lot of times creditors slip up and don't respond within 30 days many accounts have incomplete data reporting and then there's tons of errors reporting to american uh consumer credit report so uh there's so many ways you can work on your credit and so many options you have to go about it don't just give up because the 10 percent of the stuff that supposed to work here and there just doesn't because like i said it's a 10 percent chance that a debt collector is going to agree to delete it. it's a 10 percent chance that a uh a loan company or a credit card company is going to agree to remove a late payment so if you have bad credit slow down don't stress yourself out it's not going to be a fast fix you know but whatever does get fixed if it gets fixed sooner than seven years i call that a win if you use credit to improve your lifestyle and would like to share your story on the It Pays to Have Good Credit podcast, feel free to reach out to us at info at sturgiscreditrepair.com. Sturgis is spelled S-T-I-R-G-U-S creditrepair.com. 